What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and I wanna thank all my new subscribers. If you have a John Deere riding tractor, residential riding mower, chances are you have one of these spindles on your deck. It's one of the most widely used spindles uh, over the years, over a vast um, amount of model, models that John Deere makes. It's the part number AUC15811 spindle. And I've heard not only from viewers, but customers and also other John Deere mechanics that, oh, you don't need to worry about greasing that spindle because it has sealed bearings in it, even though the housing has a grease fitting on it. Now these spindles are only about $65. Uh, you can get aftermarket ones for around $30, $35, actually from Lowe's and Home Depot. There's some aftermarket ones uh, that work. They're not very um, robust spindles or anything, but there's a rumor that there's sealed bearings in there and you don't have to grease them. So I'm going to show you the truth. We're going to dismantle one and I'm going to show you why I disagree that you should grease these spindles. So I went ahead and put one of these spindles in and you can't just unscrew them. You have to kind of like chisel this thing away, this top bushing. So I took my snap on air hammer and removed this here, this top bushing. And then that spindle shaft will just slip right out. And we can confirm, yes, there are sealed bearings in these even though it does have a grease fitting right here in the housing. Now and in, also inside of this housing is the bushing in between the bearings. So I'm going to go ahead and, and knock these bearings out so we can take a good look and see if both sides of the bearings are sealed. So I put my long draft punch into my snap-on air hammer here and boy, does that make it easy to knock bearings out. So, yep, they are technically sealed bearings, but I want to show you they're not very high quality seals in these bearings. You can see this customer did uh, do a good job of keeping it greased and these spindles did last a long time for them and these bearings were not in horrible condition compared to Customers that I see that don't ever grease them, they go out far sooner, much lower hours than this customer's spindles did. This customer actually had over 400 hours on his mower. All right, guys, so recently I made a video showing how to basically rebuild a, um, it was, I think, of a D-130, uh, John Deere D-130 uh, riding mower with a 42-inch deck. And these are the two spindles that came off of it. And again, the part number is AUC15811. I took apart the spindles, and here's the shafts, and here's the housing. It's an aluminum housing, cast aluminum. And the bearings are sealed on both sides, right? So by sealed, they just have a little piece of plastic here that covers up the roller bearings inside as you can see here, very dirty. Let me show you what a sealed bearing, how they come. All right, so I made another video. This is actually a spindle off of the John Deere Z900 series. I rebuilt a lot of these for customers. I get these bearings um, aftermarket and they come, um, you know, with this, you know, seals right here. They go on the top and bottom of the aluminum housing but the bearings themselves are, you know, sealed. All right, and basically all it is is just this little plastic cover here that you can pretty much pick off with your fingernail. I've already removed one here uh, for this video. Same bearing. This is a different bearing than the spindle we're talking about, but it's the same, the same concept. So here's the amount of grease that is inside of this sealed bearing. All right, so just to give you an example. Now, from the factory, when you get a John Deere Z900 series mower, when you take these spindles off, 
these bearings don't have seals on either one side that's you know when you get a um, John Deere OEM spindle but these bearings come after in this aftermarket kit sealed so what I like to do is I actually take out one of the seals I made a video about this and I'll leave the top seal in for the top bearing and then I, I'll leave the the bottom seal in for the bottom bearing and then that way when you're greasing it you know grease can get better in there it doesn't have to pass the seal but my point I want to make is on these um, AUC 15811 spindles even though they come from the factory with the seal in the bearing like here's one that I haven't removed the bearings or it also has this little spacer in there so that spacer is still in there um, I still think you should grease it and here's why so when you're filling up that cavity with grease like here's like a normal way like this doesn't have the bearings or the, or the spacer obviously you know you're, you're filling up that whole cavity inside of this housing with grease if you don't um, eventually like the grease similar to what's in here or similar to probably what came in from the factory when these were first assembled it's very little grease it's going to slip past these little cheap plastic seals okay so if you don't grease it you're going to eventually just accumulate air water whatever that grease is going to slip out of that seal eventually in my opinion, it's better to have that grease filling up that entire, um, you know, that 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 cavity of that um, housing. And so, what what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just kind of demonstrate. I've left this bearing and uh, spacer inside of this one, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this grease off, and I'm going to remove this, pick off this seal here. And then I'm going to pump it full of grease and we're going to see if we see any grease. I'm going to leave the seal on the bottom side of the bearing that's right here. And we're just going to see there and observe if we see any of this bright red grease come up through that dirty red grease. So basically what it's going to look like is this right here. So let's get started. And one thing, guys, I will say out of customers... Um, I've had I've had many customers I've replaced probably hundreds if not a thousand of these spindles and they don't last forever but they do last longer out of the customers that I see that maintain their spindles and grease it and they do last longer um, the customers that don't seem to maintain their equipment as well I will notice that they have to replace these far more often and the one in that video where I got these two spindles these spindles have about um, I don't know they've probably been replaced but I, I think they, the mower had about 400 hours on it which I think is mind-boggling for these spindles I've seen them be replaced as early as you know 30 40 hours so what I'm gonna do is take um, my grease gun here and we're gonna actually I'm gonna blow this grease out no I don't want to I don't want to compromise the seal on the other side so let's just do it how it is actually I figured if I blew air through there it might uh, break that seal so we're just gonna leave it as is and I'm gonna sit here and just pump this cylinder um, now see how we're getting grease now, if that shaft were up through here, let's go ahead and put a shaft up through here like that. And let's see. I'm pumping, I'm pumping. I'm holding some pressure down on the table to keep the um, grease from coming out of the bottom down there. Grease has got to go somewhere. So right now we got it. I got it coming out of the bottom. So if this were still in there, nice and tight, 
we'd definitely be having some grease coming up uh, through there. Let's take let's take this bottom seal out. I mean, in my opinion, of just having having this, never greasing this, and just assuming that that small amount of uh, grease that comes in into these bearings from the factory is going to be sufficient for the life of these spindles. I find that to be a little naive, honestly. Uh, looks like this bearing's actually been pushed out a little bit, but. So you're going to have, even though it has that, even though it has that um, seal in there, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's it's just pushing grease. It's gonna it's gonna get into those bearings, and that also is gonna not. Even if it doesn't get into the bearings, if you fill up that cavity it's going to not give any anywhere for that factory grease that's in the bearing to, to slip out into the um, into the cavity because I guarantee you it will pass these little uh, plastic seals on these bearings and one other thing I want to mention before wrapping this video up this is a spindle off of one of my customers that has a uh, it's a commercial Toro and I've rebuilt a few of these spindles for him and he brought me these bearings and these bearings are sealed a lot better and there's this is what my fingernail is touching right here is metal I cannot um, pick this seal out of here there's no way I could ever do it with my fingernail like I can with those other bearings um, it would take quite a bit of effort and there's no way to actually grease this spindle so here's the shaft there's no grease fitting at the top so the, these bearings actually come from the factory with these sealed bearings and they last a, a, a long time when they come with uh, true sealed bearings in my opinion uh, it's a lot higher quality of a seal and it probably has a lot higher quality uh, bearing and grease inside of it So like those John Deere AUC15811 spindles, they don't have very good seals in those bearings. So that's why I think you should grease them, fill up that cavity of that housing with the grease. That way the grease that's in the seals, in the bearings already, has nowhere to go. Um, and if it does, if you do keep greasing it, you're going to pressurize grease into that seal or through that seal and into the bearing. So that's why I think you should grease those. And like I said, I got a lot of experience replacing them for many customers. And it's always the ones that have routinely greased them. They seem to last a lot longer. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. That's my opinion on the matter. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll have more videos like this coming soon, guys. Thanks for watching.